So I'm here down on the Piaggio static display with uh, uh, the display captain who is uh, uh, Maurizio Longiaretti. And Maurizio, perhaps you could take us through the latest modifications to your Evo model which is behind us now. Yes, the main reason for us to be here of course is to showcase the last version which is now back in full production. And uh, the Evo as opposed to the well-known P180 has encompassed uh, some uh, actualization and some improvements. The most obvious difference is a visual impact given by the winglets, but they are not really affecting much. <laughs> they are there for aesthetical reason, principally, and to disguise this version from the latest. But if you are uh, familiar with the plane, you will see that the props are different and the uh, RPM of the props yes. are different. Ah. And this gives us a pretty good advantage in terms of outside noise. As opposed to the earlier models, we have reduced about 4 dB on the sound impact, so right. we could certify it very, very good levels. Other differences come with the landing gear, which is basically the same as we had before, except for the steering. Now we have a fully digital steering. The steering was very, very complex yes. on the being yes. older technology. This is digital and mechanical. And the brakes now get anti-skid. So a number of safety and performance yes. improvements uh, on the no aircraft. new air conditioning system, of course. Ah, <laughs> must, have, must, have, must have climate control now rather than air conditioning. So, uh, <laughs> and and uh, in contrast with no pilots, no requirement for air conditioning, behind us on this side, we have the un manned uh, Pi Piaggio hammerhead. On the contrary, there's a strict requirements for air conditioning actually because there's nobody inside so you lose pressurization, there is no pressurization system, but there's a definite uh, accurate air conditioning system because the stuff that is there is and, uh, sensitive to Yes, uh, uh, absolutely. No humans involved, but the equipment needs to be kept cold. Yes, for the rest, you may see that the airframe is pretty much the same. Uh, the fuselage is basically the same. So is the wing, the engines, the props, and uh, the landing gear. So structure-wise, is another P-180. Some of the systems are the same. What is different, of course, is control, actuation, and uh, whatever you have inside. And the biggest difference is that you don't see it from the outside, but half of the fuselage volume is, uh, is made up for tanks, yes. okay, uh, additional tanks. For extended range? Of course, the range is not comparable, of course. Indeed. And I see we have uh, an electro-optic pod on the front and a data link, uh, I guess, on the, on the top, which is a, a differentiator. Exactly, and then uh, we will have some other sensor inside. And the data link has already been proved in flight. We did already, we demonstrated already the beyond line of sight capabilities of the, of the aircraft. And we have three flying at the moment, so. Very good. And uh, can you tell us approximately, like for like, the duration of a flight in, in, in your UAV, roughly? It's, it's been designed initially to fly at least 12 hours, but uh, we are just at the early stages. Yes, yes. And there's some more things to come and the range will be dramatically increased uh, in the with the next the production models. Okay. Indeed, and the internal fuel tanks of course will reduce drag externally and make sure that that uh, endurance can uh, be maintained. Yes, absolutely. We fly with the same power as the P-180, so we keep the same shape, outside, same drag, everything. Maurizio, thank you very much for your time, sir, and uh, very interesting talk. Thank you.